So guys, recently iOS 14 has been extensively leaked and we are having all of the features coming in this iOS version. I first thought of including all of the features and I really don't want to make this video too long. So I have chosen the top 5 features coming in this iOS version. These top 5 features are going to be changing the iOS experience. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be discussing regarding this top 5 features and also I'm going to be giving you the latest news that Apple has officially given us. So guys, today's video is going to be very interesting. So if you like to stay updated from Apple's ecosystem and from smartphone world, then please consider subscribing to our channel. And without any further ado, let's get started. So guys, the iOS 11 update was a major change from the iOS 10 update. But after the iOS 11, the iOS 10, 12 was just a little better version of the iOS 11. And the iOS 13 provided you a little better version with system-wide dark mode. But other than the small minute features, there is not a major or a drastic redesign. But with this upcoming iOS 14, you are going to be getting lots of crazy features from which the fifth feature that you are going to be getting is a new page. Instead of just the home page and the widgets page, there is going to be an additional third page added. And this is going to be a short list of all the applications. You can customize this page how you want. You can add your applications. Suppose I want to use the FaceTime application. I want to use the health app the activity app then I can customize my priority I can add that which app should be the first and just overall decide or personalize how I want the experience so this page is going to be next to the widgets page and it will make a major difference in this page basically you can customize the entire layout and that has been the biggest difference in iOS and Android in Android you can customize your smartphone anyhow but in iOS you are having lots of limits so guess this Time, Apple is going to be giving you small little freedom so that you can customize your iPhone. So guys, the fourth upcoming feature in the iOS 14 is addition of your customizable wallpapers. You can use the external wallpapers in your system itself. Guys, if you will open the settings and you will go on the wallpaper section, there are only three wallpapers. First is the dynamic ones, the second are the live ones and the third are the still wallpapers. But with the upcoming iOS 14, you will have the freedom to include third party wallpapers. So suppose you have downloaded a couple of apps for wallpapers then you can add those wallpapers in your system itself so it is a very good factor and also in this wallpaper section there are going to be categories so if there are going to be flower type wallpapers then all of the flower related wallpapers are going to be coming under the flower section that goes with the planet sections and basically all of the type of designs are going to be categorized and you will get a much more cleaner and a smooth experience so guys, the third feature that you are going to be getting with the iOS 14 update is in terms of the animation. Well guys, always the iOS system has been famous for the animations. Whenever you use any gestures, you go to the home screen, you try to delete the application or if you are doing any single thing on your iPhone, there are so many animations and these all animations increase the beauty of the OS. But if you will keenfully observe, then the current iPhones are having incredible processes. Apple's A13 Bionic chipset is one of the fastest chipset out there. It is even better than the Intel's processors. So guys, you are getting the best chipset in your smartphone. And with the iOS 14, Apple is going to be shrinking the animations. They are going to be taking very less time and but still they are going to be providing you animations but in a fraction of its time. The animations are kind of laggy in the current iPhones and with the upcoming iOS, they are going to be present but in a very small quantity so it will just give you a real-time glance of your processor because like the iPhone XR, the iPhone 11, all of these iPhones are having incredible processors and if Apple will cut short the animation time then you can get a clear idea about the processor in your smartphone. So guys, the second feature that is going to be coming in the iOS 14 is a new application. Last year with the iOS 13 application, Apple launched the app called as Find My Device. Well, in that application, you can track the current details of your AirPods, of your Apple Watch or any of the Apple products. But guys, this time with the iOS 14, you're going to be getting an additional application. And this application is going to be in terms of the workout. Well, guys, if you're an Apple Watch user, 
user then you know that there are three applications which you use the first is the official health application that is in every single iphone the second one is the activity application this activity application gets automatically downloaded when you connect your apple watch to your iphone and the third application is in your apple watch there is an app called as workouts in your apple watch in which you can try on different type of work exercises so guys the iphone or with the ios 14 the iphone is going to be getting this application by the help of this application you can see the video clips of different exercises and overall it is going to be increasing the level of workout you do every single day so it is good to see that apple is focusing a lot in the health department because your current apple watch can record the health data it can record the ecg functionality it can track your steps it can see how much water you have drank and basically it has all of your health data and if they will smartly you know calibrate this all of the daily health data with their application that it will be very much beneficial for our human health and guys the first and the best feature coming in the ios 14 is in terms of the multitasking well guys with the ios 14 apple is going to be taking the extensive advantage of the display the current iphones are having big big displays and that too of oled technology but the ios system is not that much optimized to use the entire display so with the ios 14 you are going to be getting extensive multitasking option you are going to be having a ipad like multitasking experience and also if you will get any calls on your smartphone then they will not take the entire display they will only take a banner like notification on top of the display and so guys not just with the call but also whenever you are reading something on your smartphone and if you want to talk to Siri then Siri will not take the entire page or the entire display. Siri will only acquire a banner like ad at the top of the smartphone and I personally feel that this is a very important factor because whenever you are on call it is always good to have the call in a banner like position when you are using your smartphone and also Siri takes the entire display which in real reality should take the half display and also if you are going to be getting multitasking like ipad then you can use multiple application at a single time you can use all of the application in landscape mode and it will just give you the proper advantages of the fastest chipset in your smartphone so guys according to me these are the best features coming in the ios 14 update well guys there are so many small little changes coming to the ios 14 you can check lots of videos on youtube but in today's video i just wanted to tell you the top five features coming to the ios 14 according to me and now let me come to the latest news official news given by apple so guys every single year in the month of june apple conducts its own event this event is totally based for the software experience they call it as the wwdc wwdc stands for worldwide developers conference in this conference apple refreshes or apple updates all of the operating systems they introduce a newer version of ios ipad os watch os and also the mac os so basically this is a software show in which this year possibly apple also is going to be launching a 14 inch macbook air macbook air really needs a new refresh and if you are going to be getting a 14 inch macbook air for a pretty decent value then it can be a very good alternative so guys there is a little bit sad news and that is apple has recently given their official statement that they are cancelling this event they are cancelling a physical event and instead of a physical event this event will become an online event it is going to be live on apple's official youtube channel or on their official website and guys we are talking about the month of june it is not anywhere like in the month of april or may but still apple has given the call very early so guys this was everything which i wanted to include in my today's video i just wanted to make you aware of the top five upcoming features coming to the ios 14 and also apple has cancelled the physical event for the worldwide developers conference and they are going to be opting for an online event 
so guys i hope that you have liked today's video and guys there is one little request and that is please consider subscribing to our channel i want to increase our community to 10000 subscribers and it can only happen with your support so guys make sure that you subscribe to our channel and i will meet you with another beautiful video until then